Newsweek is in trouble again after revelations of scam and fraud. If you are using Microsoft or Yahoo web services, you will have undoubtedly been force-fed some outrageous Newsweek articles as insane, subversive, and disturbing as propaganda can get. In fact, Newsweek has gone beyond yellow and dirty journalism, it is plain and simple news fraud. Yahoo! is decisively anti-Trump and perhaps wanted the strongest, most reckless anti-Trump propaganda hammer that exists in the known universe. But really, Newsweek press soldiers are putting out so unbelievably malicious and deliberate enemy propaganda, it makes you want to nuke them. Maybe the language is too strong. But then. Newsweek is too much. Just knowing that lying senior editor Kurt T. Eichenwald exists makes one depressive. Newsweek is the most disturbing clickbait and attention-seeking racket we have ever seen, with crap stories like these below, you may want to scroll down to continue reading with the article. The Immoralist of All Fake News Media Needless to say, all this Newsweek poop gives New York journalism, already in the toilet, a very uncool shade. Even CNN and the New York Times, who basically invented fake news, back in the days it was called psychological warfare, now feel embarrassed to live in the same country where Newsweek apparently operates. We recall, Newsweek is that asshole press who circulated the news that Hillary Clinton won the 2016 presidential election even though she didn't. Here on Earth. So, a small but influential corner in the New York news business is now somewhat concerned over Newsweek being an infectious, incurable journalistic disease AIDS, cancer question mark or something more sinister and one journalist, John Levine from The Wrap, not impressed by silly metaphors, felt the urge to ask his colleagues at Newsweek what to heck is going on? The answer he got, and shared on Twitter, is more than just disturbing. John Levine asked a Newsweek insider about that Trump erectile dysfunction story, this is brutal. Jan 19, 2018 So, to recapture Newsweek's business strategy a last resort clickbait with stories they know will cause outrage on Twitter. News of course should be sensational and dramatic. But with Newsweek, we are seeing a wicked, villainous fake news and clickbait farm the likes our CIA and FBI are accusing evil Russia of harboring in order for them to destabilize, mislead and subvert our nation. Newsweek puts Russia to shame at that. Just saying what a lot of people think. How far will Newsweek go? Newsweek is purposely writing fiction to influence politics, stirring conflict, and inciting hatred. It should therefore be categorized as trash and crap propaganda, age-restricted, and banned from civil places, including airports, supermarkets, and bookstores. This week, Newsweek won a fake news media award for fabricating a diplomatic scandal and disrespecting Polish First Lady Agata Kornhauser Duda. In that same week, New York district prosecutors raided the Newsweek headquarter, for reasons unknown to the public, the media won't report on their own corruption. The owners of Newsweek, IBT with its two co-founders, are noted crooks, dirty stories, fast money, pay no taxes. It is conceivable that they are running a rag got shitloads of money for the systematic defamation of Trump via the Newsweek Microsoft Yahoo! Complex. But that's just speculation. Does America deserve a break from Newsweek? America is a very corrupt nation, and the undemocratic and completely illegitimate media corporations play the biggest part. See, if you taint milk or dairy product with pesticides, or dispose toxic waste into public rivers. If caught, your business is over and your CEO goes to jail. In China. In America. Nothing like that. I can easily envision a mind scenario in which an U.S. conglomerate is above and beyond the law. Worse, I could also envision a criminal media syndicate that in concert and with complete impunity corrupts our nation, manipulates millions of people, influences elections, fabricates lies, lies, lies. And gets away with it, over and over again, 